Welcome to the channel. Today, I'll walk you through the design of a rotary screw compressor from scratch. Without wasting time, let's get started. We take the front plane and then select the center line and under option, we take the infinite length and then right in the middle, so we have our center line. Then we go back again and select the line. So we are going to sketch line gradually to avoid it collapsing. So we'll define it. So this one will be 20. And that one will be 40. So right here we'll have 65. And again, from this point to the line, we'll have 20.5. And then again, we'll sketch. Some line again then uh, we'll define them from this one this point to the center line this one will be 25 and then That one will be 25 as well. Okay, we go back again. And then uh, we'll sketch another line. So we'll define it. This will be 250 millimeters. So we'll sketch another line again. So we are sketching them gradually. Let's define them. This will be 10 millimeters. And here we'll have 20 millimeters. And then from here to this point, we'll have 20.5 millimeters and from this point to this one we'll have 20 okay so now we need to close our sketch we'll use a line instead of a broken one because we need to have a solid body so let's define this one too from here to this point, we will have 30 millimeters. Then let's revolve it. This is what we get. And then let's give it a fillet. So this will be two millimeter and then okay so the next step is to create a key hub and we'll go to reference geometry we create a plane yeah it's already 15 millimeter and then we'll use this plane to sketch our key hub the key hub will be located here. So let's define it. So from this point to this point, this will be 12. And then from 
in this point right here let it be five and then again from this point to this point it will be five also okay now let's go to feature and then extrude cut Let's flip the direction, then OK. So now what we need to do is to create the hole. And then we'll go to all result. And now we'll define the type of hole we want. So I'll take this one and M10, it's fine. Then we'll position it right in the middle. And then OK. Then we go on this side too. So we select this face and then uh, all wizard. We have the same configuration. So then uh, right in the middle, then OK. Let hide this plane. The next step, we use this face to sketch our spiral. So what we need to do now is to use the sketch and then we'll go to convert. So we have to convert these entities. And then uh, the next step, we are going to create our spiral. We select the helix and spiral. And then as we can see, it's already 250 millimeters from this point to the other side. Okay, right here at the bottom. And then uh, it's one revolution, 90 degree is fine. Then we click OK. Now, what we need to do now, we still select the same face. And then uh, go to sketch. We'll convert entities. And then sketch center line right here. And we'll use the arc from this point to this point. Okay, then another one from this point to this point. Okay, we need to define them. So this one will be 15 and the radius of this one too will be 15. So let's give it a dimension from there to this center line. This will be, let's say, 10 millimeters. And from this point to this one, 10 millimeters. Okay, so now we need to sketch a circle, we'll define it, and this will be 90 millimeters. So we'll just drag it right here. And then by clicking the circle, we can click on for construction. So then this is what we will get. Okay. So let it be right in this. Good. So 
has three in this one and then uh, we need to trim that one too then you can see that is highlighted then okay so now we need to exit the sketch uh, we go to feature sweat boss and then uh, we click this one and then this fill so now we have it done and then we need just to give it a fillet so this will be three millimeters and on the other side too three millimeters then okay so done and then we'll go to circular pattern and we'll select this edge and so it's already defined six will be okay then let's clear this one so we we'll go to the drop down menu then we'll select the fillet the sweep and then yeah let's click ok done so we have our sketch let's say we have our model the next step is to give it an appearance so we we'll take the metal steel and then now uh, we go for the carbon steel okay let's select the isometric view for better view i think it's over for today and then uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more content and bye for now Thank you so much.